Hello ladies and gentlemen, friends, Stag here, and welcome back to the Great Britain campaign. We're on episode 2, and we carry on where we left off directly, not exactly directly where we left off, but a few days has passed since the last recording. The recording hasn't been posted yet, but it's going to be going up on Tuesday, it's currently Sunday, so this will go up then. Um, in, because I didn't quite get to the hour and 20 minutes, my last recording, I'm going to do it in an hour and 10 minutes today, just to make up for it. Um, I did a bit of looking, actually, um, and I really enjoyed this campaign, though that's a whole other thing. I've got a bit of an ulcer, so that's going to be a pain in the ass, but we're going to try and ignore that and carry on. So I did a bit of uh, law and history research. Uh, William III dies in 1702, and his daughter Anne becomes the next queen. However, um, for some reason, Victoria is here. I don't know who this person is. This is meant to be a reference to Victoria I, which is, you know, 100 years too early. I don't really know, but, um, yeah, whatever. <laughs> we just have to ignore it. I don't know who Victoria the First is, um, but it should really be Anne, so... I guess we ignore that. <laughs> but as we left off in the last episode, we have declared war on France, and we're now at war with multiple different people. Uh, Louisiana, to which is the French puppet state. France itself, the pirates, still. Spain, Huron Wyandotte, which is the natives in the north. Uh, Poland, Iroquois Confederacy, Barbary States, Marifar, Westphalia, and Prussia. We are still allied with Austria and everyone else, though, so we're still on decent alliances, but generally we're at war with quite a lot of people. Everything you've read is who we're at war with, basically. <laughs> so, we've already jumped into war, it hasn't taken very long, so here we go. <laughs> uh, first order of business then is fighting these battles. Now, because we're at war with a lot of people, our fronts are going to be stretched quite thin. I likely will, once we finish with the Barbary States, turn this army either north. Defending possibly London might be a good shout, but um, we've got more men coming. So, should be okay, hopefully. That army concerns me a little bit, but hopefully we'll be okay. I hope we can hold the capital. Um, but if we can take out the Barbary States, or at least take more of the settlements, that would be great. And then we can push our advantage, possibly into Italy, give the French something to worry about. I'm hoping the Netherlands will come down and hit Brussels. Uh, and obviously Austria allies will hopefully come in and give us a hand. But Austria didn't join us in the war, unfortunately. Uh, which is annoying. So, I can't remember who joined. The United Provinces are at war with, uh, joined us. I think the 13 colonies joined us as well. Yes. Or oh, just against France, no. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so we've got a few battles for you. We've got a battle over here. Um, yeah, we can't do the Spanish, the Indian battle, can we? Because we don't have enough movement points. <laughs> Even though we're literally right outside the castle, but or the fort, or the settlement, we still can't take it. So, very annoying. Uh, did we have a naval battle to do? Uh, ah, yes, we did, didn't we? I'll do that first. I'm tempted to resolve, but as we saw in the last episode, the resolve screwed us over, so I'm going to fight it. I fear I was like, going to do the Barbary battle. Well, I can't remember now. It doesn't matter. Um, in terms of other news, then, I'm contemplating using, possibly, and some of you may play an Empire, would never have heard of him. But for those who've watched Eric Gardner's videos, he's a very catchy and, I think, interesting intro. Um, which is Mike Varnanin, and essentially it's Elvish style. I'm going to turn it down, let's bit that up. Also, the music got me copyrighted a lot last episode, so you may have noticed that a couple of my audio might possibly change up a little bit. But that's essentially because, of course, the copyright music. Um, so I had to edit out the music um, through YouTube's, like, it, somehow it edits out the audio, as well as the, of course, um, so it edits out the audio, and it also slightly makes my voice sound a little bit different, but other than that, it's fine. It gets rid of the copyright claim and makes my videos less likely to get striked, which is the main thing. This is all right, sleep. We've seen these a, a few times before, but there we are again. What's the one we nicked? I can't remember. Was it this one? Uh, ah, this one. This is the one we nicked. That's fine. So I did watch some YouTuber, um, <laughs> Soul Games Inc., on how he does the naval battles. And from what I could understand, he could do. And I lost his ship. I hate the way the camera doesn't like. I have to like zoom all the way down to see what I'm looking at. It's so annoying. So we're going to go march, hit them straight away, and then fire our cans as we go around, in theory. But. I guess we'll find out. Let's just turn the... I 
I won't be able to hear the sound. I noticed last time we couldn't actually hear the the general's audio. I noticed. I don't know why that was. Um, I did look look back and I was like, no, I didn't hear it at all. Um, unless I'm going crazy. But I'm pretty sure I didn't hear the audio of the generals. Like I didn't hear. Usually you hear people on the campaign map, but I didn't really hear anyone at all that I can remember. So I'm not really sure. Um, I guess we'll have a little look and test it around now. This is a pirate ship. Looking. This is a galleon. 28 cannons. Against our 48 cannons and the 26 and 18, which we should annihilate the ship easily. I'm tempted, of course, to just roll in there and just take it um, with a boarding party, but I think we'd just do it the old fashioned way. I think it loses us less men, so we'll do that. Especially the resolve already killed, the, killed my army last time. Maybe it's Darth Maul. Maybe there's an option, actually, that I've maybe disabled by accident, potentially. But I, I don't really know. Nope. It's taken a very long time to get over there. <laughs> this is the only issue with naval battles. They take an awful lot of time to get to your areas, so... <laughs> this has taken such a long time. <laughs> are they actually... No, they're just staying, staying still. Oh, they are moving. Are they? Or are they just sitting there? Well, I'm enjoying the music, which is likely copyright, as we've seen the last couple of times. I guess, but... Actually, no. Tell you what. What we do is make sure you guys are in this formation. Yeah, you guys go there, and you guys go this side. And I'll get them to fire each way, I suppose, if it makes any sense. So these guys will go this side. Ah, more copyright music is playing. Yeah, I'm not bothered. I can edit out the, the YouTube thing. It's not the end of the world. I could, of course, replace it with other music, but all the other music is just kind of shit. So, it's fine. I can't remember, was there copyright music in Empire Total War? I think it's just Darth Mod, potentially, which is the issue. But I'm not going to change it. Because of an issue, a few copyright things. That ship's taking way too long to go over here, but that's fine. We're about to engage them with our Dreadnought, which is our general, so let's hope he doesn't die. Oh, that was a herbis shot there. I'm getting the hang of naval battles now, so provide we don't get ourselves annihilated. Um, also, this video might be cut a bit short, not the actual video itself, but I may pause this part of the recording um, for when my girlfriend gets home, um, because obviously um, we're Easter eggs to devour together. <laughs> And then what I will probably do is likely come, um... So what I do like to do is I'll pause the recording and then just come back to it later on. Which is fine. Oh, there's a fire ready. But our fire. Get everything you got, boys. I think we're all firing. I think it's reloading actually. Goes and turns slightly there. Fire! Oh yeah, that ship's a goner. <laughs> it's absolutely a goner now. Fire, boys! This is some Pirates of the Caribbean. They have surrendered, but we take no prisoners. Let's look for it to get into range. I don't want. Damn it, I wanted to finish them off. Decisive victory. Yeah, that was, uh, that was pretty easy. We just shot them with a few cannons, and the ship went on fire, which is a huge win there. Oh, I'll nick their ship as well. Um, 
Yeah, that's fine. We get an extra couple ships, which is fine. I'll take that. And you go, Vidya is ours. I can't remember what was our next plan. To go hit this naval... Um, do I want to leave all the troops? I might possibly take these guys off. Just stick them in the port. Oh. My path has been blocked somehow. No, we... <laughs> We're there, so I don't know what the hell's going on. Alright, okay. Embark your army. In Kingston. And okay, you can just hop into... Uh, if it take Nassau, take Nassau. I don't really care. I'm just going to hit these pirates for a start. Watch out for that Spanish ship. No, I think what I will do is start hitting the Spanish now. We, have, we can deal with the pirates later on. But for now... I should leave an army there, but I'm not going to. I need... Um, right. First order of business is whacking the... Um, is... Oh, God. <laughs> Why is it lagging? Stop. Yeah, that, can you, like, not do that, please? So we can move from Havana. They have more men there. So I'm thinking... Can the game stop lagging, please? It's just not a good time. Thank you. Go away. Just too medium, for fuck's sake. If you get a lag when I'm moving slight, I think it's slightly actually... Is it because of um, when I select the armies? Because I noticed that I've had the issues with that from Medieval 2 before. So I don't know if it's... Because that's fine. If I select the army... Yeah, there we go. It starts lagging. So I don't think it's anything to do with... I Maybe it's because there's such a massive movement range, I'm thinking, for the... Because um, if I go to the army down here. Um, it's not too... I think it's because the navies have just ridiculous movement range. I mean, if I show you, <laughs> just for an example, look at that. I mean, it's even worse when, because I know sometimes I've seen it before, it goes all the way over there. But it's blocked off by the Spanish at the moment. So if I... See, if I come out of that, it's much better. So I think it's just... It's fine. Um, I'll go for... Give it very high for now. If if if, if I find it being a bit choppy, then I'll just lower it again. But that's fine. Keep an eye on where my girlfriend is. Uh, yeah, because I have like a map thing. We sort of see what each other, <laughs> where each other's are. Right. Right. We we'll send the army off. When we we we'll send the army off. We're getting there. Okay, right, we're in. Jesus Christ. Okay, there we go. I don't know why the game was having trouble there, but we'll move upon Hispaniola. Hopefully, he doesn't have a massive, massive army, but with a decent force, we can easily kick our asses. Oh, I'll, I can't repair my ship, uh, my port. Um, I expect the Indians to come for us soon, so I'm tempted to move on them, to be honest. I can't recruit a general at this time, unfortunately. Um, I don't have another front base, so I might just defend Rupert's land for now. Or at the very least, get my men out of there. Um, yeah. <laughs> I may possibly send my ships back to maybe the new um, the new world slash America. But um, I could do that, couldn't I? Because I don't really need my ships here. I've got the support of the Dutch Navy and probably the Mughals already have ships anyway. And the Portuguese, I I'm, I'm, would assume, have ships. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to send these guys back to the New World. Um, Europe first, or America directly? Um, hmm. Just thinking. Just thinking, do I go to Europe first? Nah, go to the Americas. It might take you a while to go. If you're going to go that way, it will take a very long time for you to get there, but that's fine. I was going to hit the Barbary States anyway. That was my objective. Not. Um, I want to keep my ships. Ab mm. Let's go over here. And. Keep the, take their port. Um, that also be their port. But we've attacked it. So they can't use their ships. Um, oh if we can get some diplomacy going. Maybe Morocco. Possibly not to get them to kill us. That'd be nice. No, okay, fine. I mean, if they come for us, we can probably... Oh, then again, they have quite a few men. 
So, mm, hopefully they just stay neutral. I don't think the AI is too, like, tar targeted as it is in, um... As it is in uh, Medieval 2, so we should be fine. Save us battle, and we jump in and kill some Barbary States. Should be pretty easily done. There we go. Let's do this. Uh, some work. So the next recording that I'm going to be doing, which should be out this Friday, uh, will be the Dwarf of Erebor series. Hopefully the episode 1 will be out Friday. Um, I'm hoping to get it out Friday, but... Um, but we'll have to see. Um, I've got some stuff that I want to do. Some scripting and some modding possibly for the Erebor campaign. To make it a bit more interesting and a bit harder. Um, so hopefully, providing the scripting goes well. Um, what I plan to do is to have generals spawn in as we take certain settlements. So I'd like to do that. Now Church is a really good commander. Oh dear. So I really want to make... This is our first land battle actually. We haven't done an actual... Uh, ooh... That doesn't like that mountain. So there's a horseman. So there two regiments of horse. Yeah, it's all one, isn't it, actually? For that. That's fine. Oh, I like the desert music. Alright, we've got the pikeman. And the third regiment of foot. I don't know what that is. Alright, anyway. The pikes we can make use of. Remember to use all one. Oh my god, <laughs> where are we? <laughs> yeah, I can hear him. I can't remember if I heard him in the strat. I'm gonna have to like check. Because <laughs> I'm not actually sure. Right, put the general behind the, 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 the about to say tanks. Cannons. I used to say that in the like, Lucium series. Remove the tanks. There, there's a fine looking tank. Um. <laughs> Oh, and others. I'm feeling very British. We have 400 men in that battalion. That's a huge increase. Jesus. Oh, I'm doing the wrong bloody thing. Uh, oh, yes, they've changed it. What the hell is... What button is that? Oh, you, there's no button. <laughs> okay. I remember, actually, from my time with Lutium... It's meant to include your cavalry, but I'm not going to include the cavalry in this one. But I remember in Lucium doing actually two rows. Uh, maximum firepower. Um, you guys just go in that. And I'll use my cavalry effectively. Watch me get them all killed. Uh, but yeah, back to the whole galley thing. I'm tempted to maybe possibly use this intro. Because again, it's such a cool intro. I like the My Gavan and it just means uh, in Elvish, hello and well met. Uh, hello and welcome, my friends. Uh, welcome to this episode. Um, and I just really liked the intro. I think it was just—it's just a shame in my eyes for it, for no one else to ever use it. I don't know if anyone else has used it, but um, let me know, I guess. Uh, well, <laughs> obviously, the pathfinding is still as shit as I remember. Uh, right, the pipes can just go down here then. Fine. All right. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. I, I need to unlimber them, don't I? That's the whole thing I forgot about. I forgot about that sort of existence of Empire. The horse is going. Get my general in there. I love that sound. <laughs> <laughs> ah yes, I forget I can't really position my men in the, uh you know what. I'll chuck them in the single line for now. Right. Step get on over here. Oh god. I pressed the wrong button. No. I think they're mar are they coming in now? Jesus, okay. Get marching boys! Guys, go there. I must admit, I didn't expect them to charge in. And I need to remember this is not me able to, and I can't just charge my cavalry in and expect them to do amazing work. I remember the battles being a bit slow in this campaign. Oh crap. 
my reminder that this isn't medieval 2 and my cavalry are not immortal warriors as it was in bloody medieval 2. Didn't kill that many men though, so that's alright. Charge! Pull them out. No. Alright, you guys up here. Pull that man. Oh, they're chasing him as well, that's not very good. <laughs> I wonder if it might be because we have loads and loads of units on the screen. And usually we don't. <laughs> Well, they're actually chasing my men. Oh, Christ. Look like that. The cans are firing. Good. Oh, Christ. What the fuck have you done there? Oh, no, no, no. Hold on, hold on. You've... <laughs> You've seemed to have put your cannons... In front of the other cannons. Oh, that's not very good. So, why is the game pause and it's gone really slow? Okay. Right, just stop that a minute because your guy's been silly. Watch my men do wonders. Oh, yes, they've routed them already. Fantastic. Don't move that way, just, just fire. <laughs> right, they should now. I think it's over already, to be fair. Well, General's in. I don't know how good they are in melee, but. I don't know. They have the horses for advantage, so I don't imagine they're going to be too shite. Yeah, they're routing. Nice. Clear the fire. Right, what we do now is now move him to two lines, and that way we will fire them, <laughs> fire them more effectively and kill more of them. Are they still limbered? There we go. Now, one of them is and one of them isn't. That's no, annoying. <laughs> What's going on? What's going on, damn it? <laughs> no idea. Actually, no, just charge them. <laughs> Solid. I'm going in. It seems they can charge a bit better than you do in Medieval 2. They just charge automatically, I think. It's good. Oh, in fact, send the general to wipe these guys out. I might just give up with my <laughs> artillery. Just... I don't think we need, really need him anyway. Yeah, the pike can go in there and hit them. Now, I don't know how good they are with the pikes, but I guess we'll find out. Just watching the British Empire just utterly shred them. I don't think they're shooting their own men, are they? Are they? Maybe? So I'm seeing a few of them are dying. Oh, they are shooting their own men. Fuck. Whoops. Oh, my God. <laughs> I thought, um, yeah, that's the one issue with that, as they tend to shoot their own guys. No? That's better. Oh, that's my cannon firing. I'd rather my cannon not fire right now. Turn it off for now. Oh god, my cavalry get themselves killed. Whoops. I am doing the gallow this. <laughs> it's not even by uh, design. Right, get up there quickly. 
I'll let the pikemen deal with them. That's fine. Cannon, stop firing. Yeah, stop that. Oh my god, my generals get themselves killed. Because I haven't ordered them to run away. I've ordered my cavalry to run away, but I haven't ordered my actual general to run away. That's so stupid. Crap. Please tell me he's still alive, right? I didn't get him killed already, did I? There he is, there. Get him out of there. Don't shoot your general, please. Thank you, game. He is actually routing. That's not great. Run those guys over. Deal with these guys so they run away completely. Um... Yeah, just, just sit my general out of the game, to be honest. I don't want to risk him getting accidentally shot or something. <laughs> this is just garrison desert, so I think we should be fine. Pikes will just wreck him. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah, I think that'll be alright. We've got like four, five hundred of them, so I think it'll be fine. Again, the massive step up from what I'm used to in Medieval 2. Yeah, we have 500 pikemen. What? <laughs> I know some uh, factions in Divide and Conquer have like loads and loads of troops. Just run them down. Yeah, that'd be great. All my generals uh, can go over here and deal with them. That run right away. The if he can catch them before they escape, that would be great. But I'm not expecting to. Yeah, they're off. We can continue to run them down, I think. They've, I think, escaped, actually, yeah. Kill them all. I mean, take me up, we're gonna take kill them all anyway, but I'll just kill them all for good measure. <laughs> I'm not used to the game mechanics as I am with Able 2, so generally like, I'm not sure if they all die if I don't kill them, so I'm just gonna kill them anyway. Let's see if we can zoom in. Oh, that's quite far. That's a bit better. Even it feels like a bit far out, this zoom mechanic. Are you. Tempting to run them down, or are you just going really slow? I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Come on. I think we should be able to kill them, alright? I'm slightly paranoid that they won't. I'm gonna put plug bayonets on. I forgot that was a thing. Whoops. <laughs> that would have come in handy, but oh well. I thought they would have automatically had the plug bayonets on. Do you know what? We should have won this. They should all be dead. This is it's a siege battle. What am I doing? <laughs> My memory is so stupid. Oh dear, David Garrick, British actor in theatre match. He's lost his life. No, I have no idea how he died. I might have looked up. <laughs> what happened to David Garrick? Not really bothered enough to check myself, but um, but yeah, killed him. Yeah, we killed. There's 1800 there actually, and we killed. Lost 400 guys by that party because I got my cavalry killed. So. Not great. In terms of public order, God, do they hate us. I might actually return these lands to Morocco and get them on side for an alliance. Yes, let's do that. Because these places are going to hate us because we're British and not Moroccan and Islam. So what I might do... Bit of a bit of a sneaky. Um, I'm going to offer them Algiers. Just take it. Why wouldn't you want to take it? That's just such an advantage for you. Oh no, I won't take it because I don't see them. Um, <laughs> stupid. Um, how is that not a win? That's that's almost certainly a win. You're getting you want an alliance out of this. Ugh. My eyes are yours. Oh, yes, my chest, mate. Anything more? The yeah, <laughs> yeah, the audio is working. I wasn't really sure. Um, I guess for now, we just have to keep the garrison here for now and still with the rebels that will eventually rise up because everybody hates us. Aye, aye, Any 
I've got hardly any troops here. Do you know what? Sod it. Balls to it. We're just... We're murder them now. Well, I can't move there, but I can just send them off to go kill them. They have no army. Apart from one ship. <laughs> A tree real estate. Um, <laughs> Fine, okay. Uh, right, what are we doing now? I didn't serve. Okay, that, that's pretty good. I don't know if my girlfriend's left. So, I will double check. Yeah, just about. That's fine. So we might be able to get the whole recording done. I don't know yet. If not, I'll just come back and record like 20 minutes later on or maybe tomorrow morning. I don't know. It's not the end of the world if we don't get... Because I, you know, I want to get my... I want to try and get an hour recording in. And if I can't do that, I'll, I'll come back in like 15 minutes. Why did my turn just take a while though? No idea. I can't remember the 13 card because I watched um, Soul Games Inc.'s Let's Play of Britain for a short while, not the whole thing. I don't know if you got the same event to conquer the three 13 colonies or not. Oh, bugger off, pirates. I just killed you earlier. Alright, fine. Military techniques, carbines. Oh, carbines, smoothieable muskets are better than that. So they're better musket, basically. Uh, built that. Letter of Demands. And then the ability issue a letter of protest at the current situation. In the situation? What the fuck am I trying to say? Letter of Demands. And the ability is issued a letter of protest at the current situation in the region. This is because this content is really changed for levels. Yeah, I can't do anything about it. Um, that's one thing in this game I don't like. Is you can't massacre the population. Why can't I kill everybody? No, because we're meant to be honourable. No, fuck that. Why can't we just murder everyone? <laughs> That's one thing I just don't understand. I don't really... Um, yeah, I, I, I really wish I could... Minus, it's only minus four, actually. It's not too bad. What about if I exempt... Oh, that's not too bad. Does me lowering the taxes help our cheers in any way? No. Uh, zero shouldn't make it be too shit? And if I leave my army, does it get even worse? Yes, it does. Um, why can't we give Algiers to Morocco? Why? <laughs> why don't you want it? Right, maybe it's because, is it like slight under repair? Morocco is a protector of Dagestan, apparently. Okay. Uh, no, because that's going to take a turn. Um, why can't I just give them that? Just take it. <laughs> Why don't you want it? It's just there's just no disadvantage to this in any way. I'll even chuck you for all my money. Hey, it worked. Pretty tactical retreat. And so our business is concluded. I gave you my money and I gave you a bunch of money and I give you your settlements back. So I will do. Uh, where did my guy go? Where did he go? Uh, where did my shepherd go? <laughs> did he go to Spain? Potentially, don't tell me he went all about back to Britain. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. Well, I can get him some more men, I suppose. Um, We should probably get back to home before the Spanish show up. It'll take a while. <laughs> oh god. That's a ship. Yeah, the two cow did fight some battle. So a couple ships, we should annihilate them in no trouble. Um alright, okay, because we've now been sent back to Britain, not entirely my plan. I was building men here, wasn't I? Uh what I'll do then I'll just chuck them in London. Oh, Slightly one way, one part away. One part away makes no sense. Uh, one fucking tile away, it's so annoying. Uh, oh, yeah, do, what are we doing with more technology? Do you want to do some more military? Or do we want to look at maybe cancer shot? Uh, building a mission. Uh, burst suit leaves a gun barrel. Mm, okay. Improved grenades. Oh, does that give us... Oh, it does. Grenadiers. Oh, yes, please. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, for those who've seen my grenadiers in Medieval 2, uh, for Lucium, they are absolutely devastating. <laughs> um, are they actually the same kind of stats? Uh, let's find out what the stats are like. Um, 
Not bad, yeah. Oh, hiding grenades, nice. Um, I guess we keep the army in there for now. I'll bring my ship back and maybe attacking Paris is suicide. I know that. I don't have to be an idiot to work that one out. Maybe Brussels we could take it and give it to the Dutch. Um, possibly. I find it's more beneficial in this game to actually hold um, to actually um, give maybe give act to give regions to certain people because everyone hates you. Oh, uh, damn it. <laughs> I missed the event for Captain Kidd. Oh, well. He just dies, so it's not, it's not a massive thing. <laughs> and the Barbary State's just sitting here. Ah, this, this is their capital, isn't it? Because they have more men there. Uh, I might just leave. I mean, I've taken... Morocco's got that, so I might that might at least subdue the... I could just finish off the war with them. But I'm concerned more and more now if possibly France and Spain actually attack my main territories. That's my one issue. Um, anyway, we're going to attack the French over here. This should be fun. Yeah, didn't mean so. Right, let's go kill some French. Finally, an actual... A battle worth fighting. Well, not a battle worth fighting. But generally, a fight that I'm, should be interesting. I don't know how the hell the public order is going to be, but uh, <laughs> we can have, we have fun with that one. Um, hopefully, though, of course, um, we should hopefully rather hold the Indian territories a bit better than we will any our own. Uh, the Moroccan ones, definitely. But we'll see. I'm still quite enjoying this campaign. It's quite, it's definitely something new, something interesting. Of course, I haven't read the comments from the first episode yet, if there are any. <laughs> I don't know yet. Um, but yeah, I'm still contemplating the idea of maybe using guys intro. I also don't want it to be too much like I do, I'm copying him. I just want to reuse. I just want to use it because oh god, we're in Indiana Jones, and so it seems to like go up, but not actually. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, whatever. I didn't really take a look at my units today. That was silly of me. Why don't I do that? Uh, more over the place though. It's close Easter and my mind is on chocolate eggs instead of uh, actually. But this is my first regiment of horse. My Yu Yo Manory? Yes. <laughs> that is correct. Uh, this is my general's bodyguard. I imagine they're probably the default the exact same, I'm guessing. That's my general there, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, the general's not on the flank uh, like he is in the Mabel 2. So he's just in the center, which is. I prefer him to be a bit at the back, but that's fine. This is our, our sepoys, like our Indian sort of British infantry. Not the red lines in my face, but let's just move them back a little bit. Anyway. These are the Indian guys. The Indian guys, that's going to be, that's almost certainly racist. My Indian sepoys, loyal Indian men that have joined us and saw there is no other way. Um, my militia, which is your same militia. And these are pikemen as well. We saw a bit of them, but they are in all its glory. Now, um... Oh, they've got a bit of a hill. Oh, I love the Selton model. That's really cool. You can get inside the town hall. That's another cool thing. I forgot that's a thing in, in Empire. Alright. Oh, I've got little cannons. Are they cannons? Oh, quick. Shut them down. Shut them down! Alright, get up there. Um, I'll keep the pikes behind. Oh dear. Here come the mortar. Oh, kill a few of my cavalry there. I know my pikes, sorry. That's fine. They're not the ones shooting. This is the French army. Then I should have had a look at the army. I did it for some reason. I was too concentrating not getting myself killed. Uh, or screwed up. There's the mortars. Very inaccurate, though, is the good thing. I did kill a couple of my, uh, my guys, but that's fine. My cavalry's in there. Um, I will go off and quickly show some of the other men. This is their file of citizenship, citizenship, France. This is their version of the Sepoys. You are probably about to fire. And this is uh, militia as well. Right. 
My hope is to kill them all first before they arrive. No, right, Matty won't take long until they start firing. Ah, right, here we go. Pull back. Get your men out of there. <laughs> Fire. Oh, yes, attach your bayonets as well. Would that may come in handy. I love the research thing, it's so cool. Right, we've wrecked their mortars, which is excellent. Advance. Preferably above that hill, actually, if you can get closer. Garma Hill isn't really advisable, but it's the best I've got right now. I don't have very much of a choice. They're getting ready to fire. Oh, they're taking cover with uh, the hay, hay stack in front of you. The banner of, uh, is that banner of Quebec? I'm not sure. They're all lined up preparing for battle, though, because they know I'm coming. Bands power still in our favour. That's fine. Oh, great. We're not even in range. <laughs> we can't even shoot them. Oh, for goodness sake. Okay. Uh, I'm not quite sure what... Hmm. Well, I guess if they can't shoot us... That's a good thing, right? Right? Yeah, I think after this battle, I'll probably pause it here, and then we'll obviously come back later on. Charge! <laughs> Run them down, boys. Are we not firing? I'm not quite sure what's going on. We can get up there and shoot them. Are we not in, um... Or am I in melee? Can I come out of melee, please? No, apparently I'm in melee. Okay, fine. We're we'll after to engage them. Question is, do they have bayonets? I don't think so. Oh god, they're just shooting my men. Hit them! What are you doing? Hit them! My balls don't have to go in the melee now, this is it. I don't know why my men are like, stuck in melee, but that's fine. Is it because of the... Hang on, if you stop that. Okay. I don't know why they're stuck in melee. Maybe the bayonets put them in melee, maybe? I have no idea. In the battle we go, I guess. Not quite what I planned, but it's fine. Ooh, that gunshot. <laughs> Oh, good. What are you doing? Get in there and hit them. <laughs> My foolishness thinks that the AI should have some more common sense. But don't tell me he's died. Fuck! My general's died. Great. What I will do then is pull them out and my general can just fight to death because his bodyguard will not return afterwards. So. Actually, no, go up there and hit them. My general's bodyguard can fight to the death against their militia. Actually, no, that's folly. Why don't you just charge him in and out? Cycle charge. But I'm not quite sure if cycle charging does actually work. And the music is really loud, isn't it? I can just turn it off, but I'm not going to. Wait, hit them. <laughs> Still fighting the cavalry, charge in. And they're routing off the field they go, lads. Off they go. Goodbye. Farewell. Off we descend. Oh, God. I'm not used to the I'm not you can tell I haven't played this game in ages. But I'm not used to the fact that my men 
that I'm not used to them just firing off at us, but they're going to have to be able to, so I should know if they're archers. Oh, look, that's the um, city we're fighting over, I think. Is that? Sorry, it's just different. I think it's meant to be the town we're fighting. I think maybe we're fighting outside of Fort, I, I imagine. Oh, no, this is the town pool. I have no idea what that is in the background. Then. No idea. No idea. Oh, they're off. Goodbye. Have we won? Is it over? Oh, we have. There you go. Heroic victory. Why is it heroic victory? Did we do that badly? That's fine. Well, we um, got my general killed, so that's... Uh, I'm definitely turned to galley. <laughs> it's just uh, the generals in this game I don't really care, give a shit about. They're just generic generals that will just appear out of nowhere. Yeah, we lost the entire general as well. That's fine. We can get another one. <laughs> That's how easy it is in this game. Yeah, we're just getting on one. It's not really the end of the world. Um, they don't like us much at all. Um, so in terms of policies, then, do I just exempt this place from tax for a bit? Yeah, I think I'm going to have to. Otherwise, that place would just non-stop rebel. Uh, I think for now, the French are gone. And the Mughal Empire, we slightly bored the Marathas down there. But... Um, Fine. I wonder if we get a general. Maybe it's just a gem one general will be enough to hold the place. But for now, we'll hold there for now. Um, again, I can't unfortunately kill. I can't kill the entire population, so that's still going to be a pain in my ass. But that's fine. Um, how far is my girlfriend? Uh, not too far, so I don't know. We can carry on a bit longer, I guess. Oh Christ's sake! Here come the fucking natives. Uh, we need to get the hell out of here then. <laughs> um. Shit. <laughs> How many men have they got? Oh, Christ. Uh, we have guns, but we don't have that many guns. Maybe if I bugger off north. Uh, run away. Run away! <laughs> I'll take my agent with me. This place is lost. The Indians just have way too many fucking men. Uh, what I might do, maybe. Because, actually, this is so cheesy. Um, <laughs> what I'm going to do is give it to the fucking god. It's... <laughs> Um, who aren't at War of the Huron Wyandot. So eventually when we annex them, we'll get that region back. Uh. <laughs> this is so cheesy. Um, I don't know if they... Would they give me a region if I asked, possibly? I doubt it. Um... Technologies. I could ask for a bit of money actually. There you go. There you go. And we give them that region, then we're off. <laughs> you can't take it now, can you, you bastards? <laughs> That's such a cheesy thing to do. Uh, I'll send this army up north. Possibly kill the nations, but I'm not going to. Um, go north. I'll get the ship to pick up these guys. And possibly launch an attack into no way. Because that's a horrendously massive army. Um, although, this is quite undefended. We could possibly win that. If we fight well, I could probably beat them. Um, I might do that. Yeah, and that way we could get, gain a bit of French land as we go. Uh, where is she? Down there. Okay, I'll, I'll wrap this up here then. I'll move my ship, I think. Them. Right. Siege. What I will do with this army, send them over here, and then we'll fight the Spanish next, uh, not next episode, but later in the recording. I'll come back and we shall record 25 minutes more of the, or 26 minutes more. But yeah, we'll fight the Spanish, take Hispaniola, which is slightly different religion, so that's going to be a pain, but other than that, should be fine. But I shall conclude this recording, uh, this part of the recording here, and I shall return in in a couple seconds. But that's all for now for this part of the video. And yeah, we'll get the Rupert's land back eventually anyway. If the Indians don't attack us, um, we'll get that back eventually. But they are at war of us. So there's nothing stopping them attacking us. Um, but yeah, I might get a ship round and maybe go attack. Possibly Newfoundland. I think might be a good shout. Um, so we we'll do that. Or I'll send them down to the Caribbean to depending on how I feel. Um, but that's all for now. I think for this, uh, I'm, I feel I feel like I'm ending the recording, but I'm not. Oh, I could attack them, couldn't I? 
Nah, but that army's going to annihilate me no matter what. Nikolai probably is the best to call, I think. Uh, we're not actually at war of the new Spain colony, but we're at war of the Louisiana, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, we're not at war of the new Spain colony, which is good. Maybe they won't kill us. Um... Yeah, we can get a few mines. If it's not, just keep some mines, and that's fine. I'm not really bothered. I'm not going to fight them. Um, we share the same king, although not for much longer if, if the history is anything to go by. But uh, he might be dead. <laughs> he, but technically, he dies next year, so I don't know if that game's going to do that or not. Or uh, I don't really know. I guess we'll find out. Um, something I will do, though, is quickly repair. Uh, what was I going to do? Oh, yes, I was going to repair this, wasn't I? Um, actually, no. Sod that. Build myself a road. Get the trade going. <laughs> we can build their crap another time. That's only like 260 gold. Which I'll get... Yeah, I'm still making money. That's fine. You can't go to debt, so that's an advantage for us. Uh, but that's it for this part of the recording. And the next part, when we, when we return in a couple seconds, we will go kill the Spanish here. Um, so, I'll see you in a second. Did you hear that, guys? Copyright music. Yep. <laughs> And that would be edit out later on, so this probably my audio sounds completely weird. But that's alright. We'll just edit that out off camera. <laughs> oh well. Um, the point is that I'm enjoying the music now. Yes, it might be edited out for you guys, but um, that's fine. You just have to, <laughs> just have to roll with it. <laughs> anyway, right. We'll set our cannons just behind... A safe distance behind my men. And I've just, I've, I listened to the uh, Santa, what is it called? Dominican Republic. Um, which I have. Mm, <laughs> Penny found me there, but um, our line lineage with them has been a bit different over the last several months. Or oh, year, really. But uh, I won't go into that. I'm not related to them, I just have family that sort of are grossly involved with them, I should say. Anyway. Uh, here we are. Oh, they've got defences. Oh, this is just... Of course they have. Um, I forget defences are a thing, aren't they? But I haven't actually done that myself. That's quite smart they've done defensives, though. I'll give it to them. And this music is already going to be loud as hell. I notice it starts off loud and you have to adjust it in the settings. I don't know what that is. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. Uh, right. I'll limit the artillery. And you, my friends, will go at the back. Oh, because I want to make my castle go with. What are you doing? Uh, it's because they're busy limbering, I'm guessing. Yeah, they're about to get into tow it. Uh, I thought they'd be like in the center, but obviously not. I think battle maps are a little bit bigger in this, aren't they? Oh, play that music again. Oh, play that music again, damn you. Oh, that music is... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, that killed a lot of my pikemen. Uh, sorry, lads. Um, <laughs> wasn't expecting you to get murdered there. Uh, that's a slight bit of a hill there, so you can get over there quickly. That'd be great. Get firing, boys. You're not quite in range, are you? Advance further. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, I love that. <laughs> mm. I feel even more British playing this now. I love this. My eyes are in tears of joy, I can tell you that. Fire, boys! We're getting shots off in the cannons, which is the main thing. Got a nice bit of defence here, but it won't be enough to hold back the Spanish. This is, of course, our colonial line infantry. Our pikemen who are soaking up the bullets nicely for us. I love it, music. That's great. My can's taken about 400 years to get it. Oh, I can make it go faster. What am I doing? 
the horses, I can... Let's try and use our cavalry a bit more effectively. I like to t charge my pikemen in, that's fine. Uh, charge, shoot my pikemen. Go on, cavalry, give me give me a charge. Oh, it was 400. Now there's uh, kill about 50 of them. That's not bad. I right, pull the jammer out because he just get himself annihilated in two seconds. Right, yourselves out there, boys. Go on, dragoons, give them what for, lads. Peter is Spanish, the meaning of death and destruction. But how good cavalry charges are in this game. Probably not as effective as they are in the medieval time period. But uh, still quite effective, I imagine. Oh, kill their artillery. Right, advance some more, lads. Advance. Where's my general gone? Over there, that's fine. Oh, just give him another charge. What are you doing? Hit them. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, they're going to get annihilated. We may fire when ready. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, and there they go. And there they go, lads. And they're off. Oh, you guys not. Charge! I'm really enjoying this campaign. It's just such a different thing to play something in the 18th century. It's given my, my love of Lucium is returning, I think. <laughs> Which is the 18th century mod, uh, for those who are un un unfamiliar. Um, it's a great sub one. If you haven't played it, it's good. There's some more stuff coming out for it. So it's definitely something to... I would say be more excited for. The South American sub one is definitely my favourite. Oh, just got interrupted there. That's okay. Let's carry on. Fire! <laughs> Give them what for, lads? Oh god, they're still in the bow. I thought they were off. <laughs> no, okay, not yet. Uh, some of my camera is still actually stuck in there, unfortunately. The artillery is returning. My cab my cans are still on their way. <laughs> uh, bless them. Doesn't matter, they're, they're about to utterly annihilate their entire army now. Just start shooting me at a chance, lads. Right. Hit them. Oh, well, for second, second I thought my general died and I thought, oh, here we go again. Ah, fuck. <laughs> yeah, it's over. Heroic victory. I don't know. Was it heroic? I mean, we... Yeah, I don't know. We kind of annihilated them, so I don't really think it was heroic. But, yeah, all right. <laughs> oh, hundred and something men. Not too bad. We utterly annihilated Spain, and Hispaniola is now firmly under our control. I think quite like quite um, likes us as well. That's not bad. All right, nice. If I move my men out, will it be... Will it hate me? Yes, it will. If I stick my general in there, it still hates me. It's fine. Uh, what I will do then is just stop taxing this place for now. I think that's a better... Do I have enough movement point in? No, I don't. We can't do that, sir. We can't do that, sir. It's, it's absurd. Yeah, so I'm not entirely sure if grey means good or bad. Is it going to rebel? Is it not going to rebel? Um... Yeah, I'm not really sure. <laughs> I'll hold it for now. I think we need to ideally sit in our settlements for a little while for a little while now. Uh, just to hold them. Um, I think. But I wish I could just kill them all. <laughs> I wish I could just kill them. <laughs> Why can't I kill the population? Why is that not an option? Yeah, so the third colonies can keep hold of that. Here and Wine Dot completely stop and stopped in their tracks, which is perfect. Hispaniola is ours, and we should end turn. I was uh, interrupted again because I was saying goodbye to my auntie who was uh, joining us for Easter. It's Easter Sunday I'm recording this actually. And I've got one more day of work, one more day off uh, from my week off before I go back to work, which is depressing. 
that's all right. <laughs> but I'm working one day and I'm off the other day, so and then I'm working quite a few more days. But then a couple of weeks from then, I'm I do have a few more days off as well. But um, I'm also back to um going on holiday at the end of April as well. So it's not too bad. <laughs> I would have maybe done my week off for March plenty earlier in the year, maybe February next year probably. But um, maybe looking for a new job next year, but I don't know yet. Uh, trade gained. Robert Watson. Oh, the missionary dude. Recruitment. We've got some more cannons. Fleet arrives. Uh, miles away. Oh, hello. Uh, why has my game just stopped moving? Right, okay. I don't know why the hell it did that, but alright. <laughs> right, do you know what? We'll zoom out a bit. Okay. Up you go. I'm gonna grab my. <laughs> still on your way. Da 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 da. It's still game. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Alright, they've arrived. Um, our army over here, then. Um, it might be worth just sitting over here. Because they should get enough movement points to come to me, hopefully. Uh, I don't know what the required will do. Will they attack? I don't know. I serve God's will. God's will. <laughs> yes. Um, right. I'd like to have an army controlling by led by at least one general. So what I will do... I'm chucking a general in the north. There's a way you can exploit it by recruiting 5,000 generals and having loads. So we'll grab him. Jeffrey Butterworth shall lead our forces in the northern frontier. Um, Kevin McDowell shall hold this for now. That's not too bad. They don't hate us too much. Chucking the road. Um, where did my ship go? Ah, oh, over here. Oh, sod off. <laughs> the pirates are massing in number. Uh, why would you go all the way around there and they've killed my movement points to get over to Hispaniola? Haven't you? Oh, no, not quite. Okay, it's not too bad. Uh, this army will when they come into the port, though. Alright. Excellent. So I think if we stay there one turn... It's not too bad. Uh, when that other ship comes down, that would be very, very handy. Um, where's the port? Ah, here. Probably to Spanish or whatever the place. Um, can we go for some French lands or potentially? Uh, oh, the Cherokee have taken. They they held. Did Cherokee hold Florida or did Spain Spain hold that? Um, ah, the Captain Kid things returned. Oh, I'll be read that then. Um, I thought Spain hold that held that. Uh, oh no. Ah, yes, the Cherokee have taken Florida from. Them. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, fantastic. Right, we'll go land on men. Potentially, I can't. I'm gonna have to land them at this port, unfortunately. But the pirates are in the way, so we have to fight some more pirates. Ah, one ship. We've got this. We pause the game. Pause the game. <laughs> Save the game. So I'm thinking then, uh, we have to attack. We can't just pause, unlike me, able to. <laughs> Uh, we can't, like, just hold off on the attack for one moment while I look at something else. But no, I can't do that. So we have to just get all for it, which is fine. Another naval battle, then, which is... Yeah, quite enjoy the naval battles, actually. I'm not too bad. This is our ship we've captured. Which is now flying proudly the British colours. I think that's slightly red. Let's adjust the music in. <laughs> it's not the end of the world doing that, I suppose. Okay, I don't know where they're going to be spawning from. My experience means they're like 2 million years away. So get as close as you can to the deployment line. Okay, here we go. Right, lads. Engage. And we shall sit on time. Oh, we can go to fast forward. Oh, that's much better. Can you guys go a bit faster? <laughs> no, apparently not. <laughs> I guess you just stand there then for 200 years as my army. Right, there you go. Uh, have we looked at our ships? I think we have enough time to be honest. But anyway, we look at the... This is the one we've, of course, nicked. Which is nice. Uh, that's the other brig we nicked as well. Uh, that's the Dryad we nicked. The fifth rate we nicked. And the Dreadnought we probably nicked from somebody else at some point in the game. 
Uh, not in the game, but at some point in history. <laughs> yeah, that was, they, uh, the British need that one. Um, they also seem to be very similar to the, the race book galleons. Which is fine. Another fine addition to my fleet. Just enjoying the music. <laughs> I don't know how much you can hear it, but I can. Yeah, I think you can hear that, I think. We're almost there, boys. We're almost there. In about 200 years. <laughs> I wish the naval thing was so much quicker. That's my only, like, criticism, I suppose. Oh, dear. We're taking shots. And the copyright music is playing to signal our arrival. Oh god. My race is getting hit a bit. That's not good. Yeah, I saw a way of going around the ships sometimes helps. But the Admiral's flagship, when that gets, gets into range, and oh, it begins. <laughs> the slaughter of them will, will be absolutely immense. Oh, well, I'm looking at the wrong ship. <laughs> Hold. Hold. Come around there. Let me fire when ready. Fire! Excellent. Yeah, come round. Um... Uh, Front cannons are going first, which is the, is the rear cannons or the front cannons. I'm not quite sure what the naming convention is for them. I'm afraid. I think my ships have just actually stopped <laughs> for some reason. I almost reloaded. If you can turn there a minute. Problem is, you're too close to that ship. Now, uh, not too good. Yeah, that three loads them, I think. And then, okay, yeah. I'm almost tempted just to sit here on the. Oh dear, that's getting really hit. Turn around. Oh, we've started the fire. Get that out of there. The Admiral ship's coming alongside. If you guys can join in, that'd be great, but I think we just have to focus everything on this. Do you know? Turn around. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Actually, no, yeah. No, no. Get the Admiral ship in there. Get them to do the work. Prepare the fire. Well, this is going to be a hell of a shot here. This is going to be great. Ready? Fire. Oh! Oh, 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 begins. Oh, that was beautiful. Fire. <laughs> this is going to be beautiful. This is going to be some Pirates of Caribbean shit here. Alright, get around there. Fire. Bit of friendly fire there, but that's alright. That's yeah, over. <laughs> there you go, and we capture this ship. Now that one got a bit damaged. That's alright. We'll be fine. There you go. Another couple of turns at the end of the video. We didn't capture the ship, unfortunately, but that's alright. Yeah, he must have fully killed them. Uh, yeah, it's a dreadnought that got the kill. I'm not quite surprised, to be honest. There you go. Nice, we'll take that. Orders, Captain. If we can get our army off now, that will also be great. 
I might kick the Spanish out and then murder them. I'll do the same to the pirates right now, but I'm busy. Uh, so we've got that fleet to ride. Instructions sorted out in Bengal. Ah. The Taurus Buccaneer, William Kidd's funding being brought to justice in the Five Counts, piracy and murder. Unfortunately, a miscalculation on the part of the hangman meant Kidd had to be hanged a second time as his body weight broke the first rope. But now his gibbet swings and the breeze over the Thames. An example to would be pirates everywhere. Yeah. Mm. We may never know for sure where the truth lies, so we may never be certain about kids fable to hoard the priceless treasures buried where it's in Oak Island. If you've ever played Assassin's Creed 3, you'll know exactly where it is. <laughs> yeah, the public gold's not too bad though. It might, not, it might hate us for a bit, but that's fine. Do I care? Nah, not really. Uh, back to India, or maybe really back to Britain, actually. We need to get our ships back. Oh crap. Uh... <laughs> we don't have the strength to beat them, do we? <laughs> Uh, let's just go home. Um. We can build some of our, build some of our ships. That would be great. Your orders, Your Majesty. Your orders. <laughs> your Majesty. Um. Okay, fine. We're at London. We're fine. Okay, let's see what's more advanceable for us to take. Because if we can take possibly Brussels. That'd be quite the advantage for us. Where'd my rake end up? Ah, uh, yes, with the army. Um, actually, no, no, he didn't. <laughs> He's still stuck in Spain. Damn it! I forgot about my rake. Uh, it's not where I asked you to go, but there you go. Where are you going? Uh, I asked you to go. Fucking, where? You, what are you doing? No, go that way. Can't you not cross there? Why can't you cross there? Just go back that way, you idiot. <laughs> Stupid bloody prick. Oh dear. Right, anyway. Uh, can we leave this place without him with it hating us? Let's find out. Ready, if I load the taxes over here, possibly with the nobles. Oh no, I'm exempt to read from tax anyway. Uh, that's fine. Just, just sit there for now. I'll get a general there soon. And eventually, that place shouldn't come under attack. We're allied with the Mughal Empire. Um, I like to move against the Marifa. If we can grab this, that will border us up nicely. Maybe target Mysore later on. Um, actually, has Mysore got any alliances? Just out of interest. Uh, other than trade partnering with the Mughals, no. That's fine. Okay. Uh, I do believe we're at the end of this video, but I'm just having him. we got a bit longer, why not? Oh, for fuck's sake, where did that come from? <laughs> oh my good god, where did that come from? <laughs> oh dear, I think, yeah, we've lost that. Um, uh, is it even worth defending? I mean, may as well, screw it, I guess, but... Um, oh dear, uh, that was not expecting that massive army of France to come out. I think it must have come up from the north. Um... Probably won't be able to beat them, but I can I can at least weaken their army substantially. I don't know if, how much they heal though. Um, I know sometimes if they heal a lot, so I don't know. I mean, whatever. We'll give it a shot. We'll try and kill as many as we can. Um, I guess we'll see if that does anything. I suppose. Um, that's a humongous army. That is not good. I think uh, fuck Havana. We're gonna turn around and fight the French because that's a massive army. Um, guess we found the French. Follow our armies. This may be our first, uh, first defeat, I think. I'm actually wondering if we maybe sit our men in there, in that town hall. Uh, they don't fit, though, do they? Tell you what, pop out of there. Uh, you guys fit easily. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. Uh, they don't all fit in there, are they? Oh, they do, actually. Okay. It's a shame I can't split them up. Otherwise, I do that. Yeah, I can't split them. Unfortunately, that's really annoying. I can't split them into two, like, 
<laughs> garrisons in each place, but that's fine. Uh, what we do, I think, is hold there. Bring it. Bring it, bitches. I'm ready. I should have put some defenses up. I need to find out how to do that. Right. The blood bayonets just, I think, locks them in melee, I'm pretty sure, from what I can see. I see it slows down my men if I'm miles away, but if I'm over here, you're miles into the camera, but um, if I go near the army, it slows them down. Which is interesting. Our brave soldiers of, well, we Nassau, um, will bravely defend against certain death. This is why I'm not too worried about putting, keeping garrisons in. Oh my goodness. Go and shoot your own stuff. Which is mainly because I know that, um... Yeah, I'm not, I guess I'm not too bothered about the garrisons. I may have lost a man there. Oh god. Ah! It's a problem with, uh, ballless windows. You click off the map, you can just click yourself off the entire game. <laughs> Whoops. He died. I thought that was mine anyway. Okay. <laughs> what? You just, Jay's just jumping there, actually. I could have you sitting out, but you're just going to get shot by the cannons. And also, the cavalry are useless to me. They are bringing the cavalry in first. I'm in slow motion. So, we the French army, I suppose. This is a foot pikeman. I love that music. I think you can change it to certain songs, but I think this is the British one. So I think, yeah, I, I've changed the British one, but you can. So say if I was playing as France, for example, I could probably play as them. I'll change the French one. It's a bit of a law break, I suppose, but it's fine. Someone getting shot at. I can't do anything about this, because they're not quite in the... Bye, boys. Yeah, shoot them. Shoot them now. Fire! Solid. Bayonets. Oh, dear. That's got... Oh, my God. I didn't realize they could do that. They have? Is this a general? Oh god, they're routing. Oh dear, that did not go well in the slightest. What the fuck? I didn't, feel, I didn't think that the entire thing would just come down crashing down. Jesus Christ. Get in here and stop firing, boys. Get lined up, boys, and start firing, boys, now. Get your shots off. Blast them. And then the second that cannon starts rolling its ugly head, get the hell out of there. No, they're just right away. Run! The British guys just fucking legged it, which is annoying as shit, because I need them. But I lost 300 men because they just legged it off to fill the battle. Annoyingly. Right, we have no choice but to defend the town hall. Lock the doors, shut the doors. Please tell me we can shut the doors. And fucking prepare for battle. I really wish these guys, these are my generals as units as well, so that's not great at all. But I couldn't have both fit them into that. If I could both fit them in. Wait, hang on, I can. Oh, you know what? Fuck it. We're reloading. I'm going to reload that because I... He didn't say I couldn't put my men in there before, but now apparently I can. Um, now, what I'm going to do... I'm going to reload that. If it lets me pause now and not at the end turn. Come on, pause. Game. Yeah, load back that autosave. Or the battle. No, because if I can put all my men in there, I'm doing that. Um, I don't know why I wouldn't let me do it before, but I'm going to do that. <laughs> I'm 
I know I'm reloading to make the video a bit longer, but I just, yeah. But uh, if I could put my men in there, I'm going to do that. Because we have 400, 500. Yeah, we have 900. We can fit them in there. So I'm doing that. Um, if the place gets bomb chilled, then I guess it's my own fault. But uh, but I feel like we have such a big advantage if we put our men inside that place. It's just the cannons, unfortunately. But I, I have nothing I can do to shut the cannons down. I have no cavalry. I can't I can't shut them down um, at all, unfortunately. So I, I literally can't do anything about it. All I can do is just chuck them into the city, into the town. Oh, what's happened? Yeah, 965. Yeah, that's 900. They can go in there. You can put... Why can't I put them in there? Uh, why can't I put them in there? Oh, I hate game. Don't do this to me. I can fit 900... Is it per unit? Because that's stupid. If I can fit 900 people in there, then why the hell can't I just... Oh, God, I'm being shot at. Um, for fuck's sake. Where's the cannons coming from? Over there. Oh, uh, that's annoying. Right, well, my general should stay in there. Uh, can I take cover behind here? Run. Run. Run, you fools. If I guess, I suppose. Even though we have virtually no point winning, I just want to try and mount a decent defense if I can. This is probably a waste of time, and I probably should just get on with the actual. Um... We're slightly okay if a cannon goes, obviously, here. I really find it so annoying that I can't put two units in there. Um, we doesn't have this place isn't very defensible at all, so like generally I don't have any kind of defenses. Increase rank. What does that do? What does that do? Oh no, 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 no. what are you doing? Game? No, 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 no. Go back to your positions. When you can get in defensive modes, uh, new guys just hold here for now. I hope they're terrible shots of the cannons. The cannons are quite far away. So generally, I'm hoping that they don't get... I mean, the bodyguard, unfortunately, is out of miles behind the back. Um, looking quite nice as well, I must say. You, you can compliment your enemies, I suppose. I will sit and fast forward, mate, because I'm not sitting here for ages. I want to go eat some hot cross buns. Um, oh, they got cannons there. Well, they're just the ones that fire at you. Are we firing? Oh crap. Cans are coming. Right. Well, the AI's a little bit dumb, so... Oh crap, here they come. Oh, what the fuck? No way do they just bomb that whole thing. Oh, that's so annoying. Well, this side's still good. Oh, can you not fire out there? That's... Oh, that's so stupid. You know what? Sub this. Into battle. Sub this. Hit, cut them down. Attack! That place is on fire. Arabic's gone downhill. Just, just fight to the death. I don't know if we even have a defensive... I have no idea. Quite defensive and start whacking them hard. You bear nets in there, lads. Not really my intended target. I intended to maybe fight a bit harder than this and kill a lot more people. Look how many of them are of us, and yet yeah, we're losing loads of new troops. Because. We're British, y'all. 
mount one last defense for this place before it falls to French occupation. Should I give him no quarter? Oh crap, he just... Oh! <laughs> That's pretty sick. Come on, lads. Fight now. Oh, the AI's being stupid. The cannon's still firing, no, but other than that... Oh my god. This is cinematic and really epic. I thought I wasn't sure quite sure what I was expecting here. Yeah. How are they routing? I guess it can fire. Probably it's quite scary, I suppose. There's no decent general to lead them here. It's just fights to the death sort of thing. Well, it's pretty epic anyway. I will say that. <laughs> Even though we're awfully losing. And we've lost already. Jesus Christ. Cry Manetlis. My captain died heroically. And then they just... That was that. We killed a boy them of them? That was so crap. <laughs> if we had actually... Um, I think we should have just sat there and defended, but... Uh, whatever. We killed 60 of them. That's not too bad, I guess. Um, I don't know what to do with that army. <laughs> They've even got garrison troops as well. And that navy. Look at this. Look at how many blue bars on that. Jesus Christ. That navy is humongous. Does that come from a new... I'm sure I wonder if that's maybe come from Europe, that army. Hmm. I am wondering if it's come from Europe, that army. Um, because that is a hell of an army. Um, for the new world. Army destroyed. Agent recruited. Oh, I've got an agent. Yeah, that's something. Uh, basic roads. Oh, Saxony's dead. And smallpox. Oh, great. It's really good. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's not too... I'll come down in a second. For having all the use to get some. I don't know. If... Anyway. <laughs> well, I'll pretty wrap this up then. Because the Easter egg, egg cakes are... Well, <laughs> there won't be any left if I don't get to eat them in time. Right, get north. Uh, these guys hopefully should be fine in the north for a bit. Anyway, back to that massive fuck off army. Where in the shit did that come from? That must have come from a, a new world. Uh, Europe, I mean. Or oh, maybe it hasn't. Jesus, France is a lot of shit. Alright, maybe it's a good time to sue for peace. Why can't I click the diplomacy button? Uh, why can't I hit the diplomacy button? Well, we may as well just yes, my lord. attack them, I suppose. Them. Are they going to fight me or run away? No. The pipe when they're going to fight me. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, we'll end this episode off here. Next episode, we'll have a fight over here. Um, hopefully deal with this massive fuck-off army. Uh, I don't know if the French have sent that over from maybe the New World. But I don't know. I could just all resolve this to be fair. I was 170 men. Eh, fine. I just wanted them. I just want to see if that army has come from a new world or not, to be honest. Because um, Europe, they did have an army. I think it's come from uh, the new world. Oh, look at that massive Spanish army. Jesus Christ. If that shows up, hits England, we're screwed. Um, no, just go, just go that way. Bloody idiot. Right, fleet, where are you? Ships. Now oh, you're a bucket back up here, aren't you? Um, okay, with the French Um, okay. Uh, I don't know, do we get dragoons actually? It's not probably a bad shout. How long have we got till the Cambridge? Uh one turn. I might maybe just sit here for a bit and hold Uh what's this? I can build a what can I build? Grand Opera House. Probably not really what I need right now. I'd rather have the mo more men. So I just I just won't recruit anything for now. Oh, I'll rebuild my port though. That was damaged. Uh, oh, can we rebuild the stuff here? Yeah, we can build that back up. Oh, I'll get myself a general as well. There you go. You have a general again. Fantastic. Oh, I got an agent. Ah, he spawned here. Ah, yes, could we build that building, didn't we? Right. We'll see if he goes there and maybe helps out the region. Nah, uh, probably not. We just use him as a spy. I'll send him down to probably the Marathon territory. Um, oh, they're under a siege. 
Ah, I wonder who's sieging them. Oh, we can. We got little rice paddies. Oh, I'm gonna build that one. I'll go see who's besieging. But yeah, I guess if the oh, we have no ships, so I can't even send them back. <laughs> they sent them back to bloody America. Uh, oh well. This army could definitely help in the new world. I know I'm not I'm ferrying them back that way. Uh, although, I guess if we can take some of these Indian regions, I suppose it might mean maybe we can have a bit more money. So. Oh, that, hit, that hates me with us. We're we'll march south, join my Indian allies, and just kick some ass. Try and get some more stuff. I doubt the Marathar will be able to mount a defense. The Mughal Empire is so much more powerful than them, they'd just be utterly screwed. But we're taking Santa Domingo. That's not bad. Some more. Oh no, three colonies. <laughs> three colonies? Thirteen colonies, sorry. Um, I'm going to march over here to Havana. We'll deal with that at some point. Uh, oh god, that will absolutely wreck my navy. Oh dear. <laughs> uh, we're in a very precarious situation here, aren't we? Jesus. Uh, if I can get my ships up here, I might possibly... I doubt I'll raid the Indians, we'll just get annihilated. But I can probably take Newfoundland, maybe. Um, or do I just target? Oh, I can't know. Quebec's got a, probably a massive garrison because Quebec's a big place, and I think it's their capital in the New World. Um, and we're in no shape to take the uh, the Native Americans on in any way. Um, <laughs> this war, I think, is just not. Is there a way we can maybe get out of the war, possibly? Nope. Oh, it's Spain. Possibly peace with you guys? Alright, okay. Uh, <laughs> is there anyone we can maybe get peace with? Cherokee, possibly? I'm mean, at war with them. Uh, what about Louisiana? Peace with you guys, maybe? Alright. Uh, are we at war with Norway? No, we just have bad relations with them. That's fine. Uh, okay, I'm... Ah, the Barbary states will get a piece of them. Okay, I thought they'd... You consider you're at war with the entire fucking planet. I thought you'd be more inclined to take a peace treaty, but okay. <laughs> Alright. The balls and those guys, I guess. New Spain, will you join me in this war? Will you betray your enemies and fight back? Uh, oh yeah, do we have any trades? Possibly we can do... Uh, no. Right, the Easter cakes are at stake, so I'm going to end this recording here. Um... So yeah, I'll end this recording here, and we shall resume in the next episode, and hopefully, maybe I might be using Gally's intro, we'll see. Um, I'm, well, Gally's not here. I feel as if I should just let it, uh, rather than let the, the intro go to waste. Um, yeah. To be fair, we probably could beat them. I think we could beat them in this army. The only thing that might screw us is this navy, because that navy is brutal. Um... Yeah, that's the only the only snag. I think we can beat that army no trouble with this army here, but I just feel like that uh, the uh, <laughs> with that if we can, we can beat the army no problem. But the navy, the navy is what concerns me the most. I don't care about the armies. We can beat the armies probably quite easily um, now that I'm looking at their composition. But it's the um, it's the giant f off navy which concerns me because that is an absolutely hero ferocious navy. Um, even the Spanish one down here has quite a big one as well. Yes, the Spanish Armada's back. Um, oh, where's the other one, Missile? There's a bigger one somewhere. No idea. I need my allies to start putting weight, but I think once we get going, I'm going to send this army, we're going to whack na um, Brussels and hand that over to the United Provinces, and that will make them more likely to aid me against my the French. Hopefully. But yeah, Saxony's dead. Um, so that's them out, out completely. Um, what's the other faction that died? Oh, no, I don't think it was it. Not. Was it not a faction? Oh, no, was it Dagestan that got murdered? No? I have no idea who it was. I think someone died. I don't know who it was. Uh, Colin, maybe? Oh, no, that's still there. They usually get killed off very easily. That's fine. Anyway, we're ending the recording there. I thank you all very much for watching. And I shall see you in the next episode. And just because, and also I might use this outro. Navarro then Palamon Melanin, and farewell. <laughs> That's all for now. I hope you guys have enjoyed the Empire series. I so am. I probably will read your comments now. Um, all my work now is going to go towards the Erebor campaign. This has gone way too long, but. <laughs>
all my work now will go towards the Erebor campaign and we shall resume there. This might be a third episode actually because I've got... Uh, nah, 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 we'll just do the full thing. That's all for now. Thank you for watching and farewell. Next recording will be the Erebor stuff. So I shall see you with the Dwarfs of Erebor. That's my next recording. Uh, but obviously after this you'll be you'll see the next probably Wessex video and then, and then after more. And then the Dwarfs will show up. But that's all for now. Thank you for watching and farewell.